Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. As we all know, Coca-Cola is the most famous drink in the world. After, you know, milk, water, all of that stuff. But it is the most famous branded drink in the entire world. This magical brown elixir is found in almost every crevice of the globe. But did you know that there are some countries in which Coca-Cola is not the most popular drink. It is the most popular drink in most countries around the world, but not in all of them. I wanna find out why that is, so I've assembled some of these drinks that are more popular than Coca-Cola to find out which is the best and if they deserve to be more popular than Coca-Cola. Let's check them out. Alrighty, first one I'm looking at is Thumbs Up from India. Thumbs up. Apparently this does outsell coca-cola in india now this uh, this can in particular is a special uh, icc men's cricket world cup 2023 branded bottle there uh, sorry can they are of course cricket mad in india india will win will india win did india win the icc men's cricket world cup 2023 uh no Apparently not. According to this, it was the Australian men's cricket team. So thumbs down, India. Sorry about that one. Anyway, let's see if India's cola is is any good. Yeah, I, I have looked into this a little bit. It is a it is just a, a type of cola, much like uh, Coca Cola. But is it better or not? All right, nice little crack there. Now I did bring some glasses just to kind of you know compare color and consistency and whatnot. Alrighty, so yeah, definitely very similar to Coca-Cola there. How does it smell? Very similar, again. Mm. Yeah, still, still pretty similar to Coca-Cola or Pepsi or maybe like LA Ice or that uh, Que Cola, I think it's called. I forget what it's called. Like those weird sort of colas you see in shops. Oh. I'm not a huge cola aficionado, but um, yeah, I would I would probably detect that this is not Pepsi or Coke. It it does taste a little bit more watery. Like this is the full sugar version, but um, yeah, it's not quite as sweet as normal Coke. I think straight out of the can there. That is nice, interesting. Actually, I was saying it's not as sweet. It does contain like non-caloric sweetener and uh steviol glycosides i don't know what that is but um yeah mm, definitely does taste different to coca-cola it is actually made by the coca-cola company i think that wasn't the case to start with i think they were their own thing but uh yeah they now are owned by coca-cola so I guess that shows how strong the brand was in India that they didn't just get rid of it and replace with Coca-Cola. Yeah, I would say, like, sorry to my uh, Western tastes, it is slightly inferior to Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has, it's just sweeter and like this, like something different about the, like the spice level, the essence, which is interesting because, you know, India is quite famously good with spices, but they've, I don't know, there's something a bit odd here. Also worth noting that there is no B in thumbs up it is just uh well yeah thumbs up Th well i mean you don't say the b anyway so i mean you know that's, that's a time saver i guess good on your india so that's not bad that's not bad but pretty close to coca-cola that's why i chose this one first because some of these other ones are pretty different to coke let's go on to i think well this is still a cola but this is interesting this is inca cola inca cola el sabor que nos hace únicos this is really popular in Peru. It's like the national drink of Peru. Really hugely popular. Um, but the interesting thing is it is gold. It's cola, but it's gold. Gold cola. Interesting. Let's uh, let's crack her open and give it a go. Hmm. Okay, wow. So that definitely is gold there. That is almost Mountain Dew green. That is, uh, geez, that is unmistakably yellow. Hello? Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Wow, that is yum. That, that smells good. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. And from the can for good measure. Yeah. 
That is pretty good. The Peruvians are onto something. I can definitely imagine washing down a uh, burrito or, well, burritos? Peruvian? I'm not quite sure, sorry. You know, South American food. Probably go well with that. That 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 would go well with uh, any meal. I wouldn't have thought that was a cola. That Yeah, it doesn't really taste like a cola to me. It tastes a lot more like the yellow creaming soda, like that Kirk's creaming soda. It is nice, though. La cola dorada con sabores artificiales y naturales. So the golden carbonated beverage, artificially and naturally flavored. Nice. Hang on, this is made in New Jersey. What? Produced for Food and Beverage Incorporated, River Road, Clifton, New Jersey. What? Okay. I don't know. But, um, yeah, definitely quite good. Quite good. Alrighty, sticking to South America, we're going to go on to the Guarania Antarctica. Sorry for the gratuitous accent. From Brazil. This is uh, really famous. If you've been to any Brazilian restaurants, you've probably seen this. I've never had it. It does have guarana in it, though. Guarana extract is like the first ingredient after water, sugar, carbon dioxide, and acid. Uh, but it's only 0.013%. Anyway, let's uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. Alrighty, almost a uh, a peachy sort of brown color there. Anyway, let's uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. Wow, this is definitely not as sweet as uh, Coca Cola or some of the other ones. But you know, some of this to cut through a Brazilian barbecue would would do very well. This is um, this is nice. Definitely not like that sweet. But yeah, there is there is something to it. Hmm. Like I, it it sort of tastes like a a sweetened soda water, like a flavored soda water. It is it is surprisingly subtle. Like not the strongest sort of hit of flavor to this. Like for me, when I think of guarana, I think of like V and I remember in like the early 2000s they had like this red eye drink and stuff and you could really taste the guarana. Like there was a bit of a phase there 20 years ago and it, it did have this distinct sort of almost chemical sort of taste. This does not have that. This does taste very natural. Maybe, you know, in the early 2000s they synthesized guarana somehow, but um, this this like it tastes natural. Like, it's a, a very subtle, fruity, like, peachy sort of berry sort of taste. Nice. I do wonder if this will, like, keep me up all night because it has guarana in it or guarana, what, whatever it's pronounced. I don't know, but this is interesting. Yeah, again, quite different to Coca-Cola. Hmm. Okay, we are going to go now to the Middle East and look at Vimto. <laughs> But now this is actually quite popular in the UK still, and it is a UK invention. But yeah, I read, I think it was Saudi Arabia, that this is, um, yeah, really, really popular. You know, the writing there, if you go to any Middle Eastern convenience store or whatever, like a place selling Middle Eastern stuff, you can find Vimto quite easily. Apparently quite popular around Ramadan as well. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, this is this is not unheard of in the UK either. In Australia, not so much. As far as I know, it is black currant flavored. Is that right? I think so. Anyway, let's uh, let's give it a go. Now look at this. It's got an interesting lid, like one of these ones that you take off. I I don't think we've had these in Australia for like fifty years. That's crazy. Wow, little. Oh, well. let's give it a go. Hmm. Wow. That is actually quite subtle. I thought it would be much stronger. Uh, sorry, I'm re recycling a, a cup here. Uh, yeah, as expected, very deep black currenty, purpley red there. I don't know if the uh, if the the light is showing. Yeah, maybe a bit. Yeah, this is uh, this is not super um, bubbly either. This tastes exactly what I thought the sacramental wine tasted like during Mass. For, for all the Catholics out there, if you've seen a priest like pour the wine into that goblet and then have a little bit 
and wipe the, the goblet with the napkin. Like I thought this is what that wine would taste like. Now I did taste the sacramental wine once a long time ago, don't remember why. And it did not taste like this. It did not taste like this. This is quite nice. This is quite refreshing. Mm. I thought this would taste like Ribena because it even has this sort of Ribena sort of like aspect to it. But no, this is, this is like a nice creamy level of sweetness. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I could, uh, I could definitely knock back a few of these. Yeah, I think they're onto something. It's, it's like, it doesn't have that sharpness that Coca-Cola has. <clears throat> All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit unwell. This is quite a bit of soft drink that I'm drinking. I must have had about like two different cans. Thankfully, I am onto the last carbonated beverage and that is Urn Brew. He's a cheeky wee fella, eh? Yes. Now, Urn Brew, of course, holds a special place in my heart, being the most popular drink in Scotland, and myself being, you know, partially Scottish. I was in Scotland last year, and it's true. Urn Brew is everywhere. A lot of Urn Brew flavoured things, and you can famously get Urn Brew at McDonald's in Scotland, which I think accounts for why it outsells McDonald's. When you think about it, if you've locked up the McDonald's contract, then yeah, you're gonna sell a lot of stuff. So it would be interesting to compare, like to take the McDonald's sales out if it does sell more than Coca-Cola. I don't know, but yes, it is It is a mystery drink. No one's quite sure what is in it. It, it famously has one of those like unidentifiable flavors. I've had it before, it is quite good but uh, I'm gonna run you through it. Also, in my research, I did see an Urn Brew up, uh, commercial. Amazing, isn't it? And um, it, was, it was one of the best commercials I've seen for a long time. It, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, like I said, no one's quite sure what's in it. It's spelt like B-R-U because legally, it can't be called a brew because it's not actually brewed, but anyway, let's, uh, let's just get stuck into it. Alrighty, there it is. Very famously bright orange. This is a hangover cure in Scotland, and Scottish people are hungover quite often, so that's that's another reason why it does sell quite a bit. Anyway, let's have a go. Mmm, that is definitely how I remember it. Apparently, they did change the recipe. I'm not quite sure why, but yeah, it is this interesting fruit sort of um, mixture here. Like, really hard to quite put your finger on. It is orange, of course, but you cannot taste any orange. I have to say, though, it is remarkably like the Inca Cola. Like, it's actually quite similar to the Inca Cola. The flavor profile there is pretty similar. But yeah, I did want to put the uh, the Urn Brew next to the Inca Cola, because they are quite similar. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is. This one, like, they taste kind of the same, but this one tastes yellow, and this one tastes orange. I can't explain it any more than that. But actually, yeah, if I did have to explain it to an Australian, I would say, again, similar to the Kirk's Creaming Soda, the yellow one. Not I identical, but, but pretty similar. So, yeah. Well, there we go. I'm not a huge Coke head. Well, I mean, what? Like, I'm not a huge Coke drinker, sorry. I'm also not a Coke head, obviously. Um, but they are all quite different to Coke, with the exception of Thumbs Up. Um, yeah, I would say Coke is, is better than the Thumbs Up, sorry. But I kind of like all of them more than Coca-Cola. I like an interesting flavored soft drink. I've probably had enough Coke and Pepsi for my entire life, like more than I would ever need. Just for reference, I'm kind of a Dr. Pepper person if you are interested, although these days I mainly just do drink soda water because, yeah, again, I've, I've probably had too much sugar. So that is more that is more carbonated, like sweet carbonated water that I've had for a long time. I am feeling a little bit ill, but I do want to finish on one special item, and that is the Farmers Union iced coffee. Now, this does not sell more than Coca-Cola in Australia, except for South Australia. Uh, South Australia is mad for Farmers Union. It is one of the few sort of like state-based differences 
in Australia, like a difference between state. I'm in Queensland. It's it's definitely oak country here, oak breaker. They're the big boys. You know, at my local Woolworths, they had like two slots dedicated to the farmers union. The rest of it was oak breaker, etc. So I think that gives you an idea of uh, how popular the F-U-I-C is in Australia. But anyway, I've never had a farmers union iced coffee. I'm not a huge iced coffee person. I like my coffee warm. Thank you very much. But anyway, I'll give this a go just to see if South Australia is onto something. This is also known as the Brickies laxative. I just want to see what it's like. I didn't bring a cup for this. I would assume it's just a brown liquid. Let's give it a go. Mmm. That is quite good. I will hand it to South Australia. That is quite nice. Very smooth. Like, super smooth. It doesn't have any of the coffee bitterness, but it has all of the coffee flavor. It is pretty sweet. I do wonder what the sugar content is. 54 grams. That seems like a fair bit. That is 61% of your total sugar intake there. So, it is a it is a fair bit of sugar. It is a fair bit of sugar. That's, uh, that's the secret, I guess. But... You know, it works. It's nice. That was quite good. Um, although, yeah, I am a bit surprised that outsells Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's recent marketing is all about how good it goes with something else. How good it goes with, like, chips or whatever. Which, you know, it is true. With a meal, you know, you want some carbonated beverage to wash it down a lot of people will reach for a coke a lot of people around the world will reach for something else maybe a vimto or an urn brew but i don't think many people will drink an iced coffee with their meal maybe with a uh with a sweet treat or a cigarette but um i, I wouldn't have thought there was as much occasion to drink a farmer's union iced coffee as there was to drink a coke so south australia you have stunned me you have surprised me they have those buses that run on train lines and they also are very fond of their farmer's union iced coffee i don't know what's happening in south australia i've never been there whatever you're doing south australia keep it up anyway i was going to rank these drinks um I don't know. I think they're unrankable. They're unrankable. If I had to put them in any sort of order, look, call me biased. The urn brew, like maybe it's a genetic thing. That was probably at the top there. Inca Cola in second. Vimto was a big surprise. It didn't have that strong black currant taste that Ribena does. It was a much more chill sort of diluted version of ribena with some bubbles so that was quite good the guarana that was good but yeah i I've, I've already like forgotten what it tasted like it was pleasant but i'm not rushing to get another one and the thumbs up yeah i gotta say it just it just kind of did taste like like a budget cola for like for some reason if you have to get an la ice or a like a, a home brand cola it just kind of tasted like that i guess it just speaks to the dominance of coca-cola like that is the standard cola flavor and everything else is measured to that anyway i think my my heartbeat is like dangerously fast or something or i've just got like way too much carbon dioxide in my stomach i, I don't know anyway many thank you for watching many thank you for liking and subscribing leave a comment uh, what do you think is better than Coca-Cola? Or have you had any of these and, you know, you have some, some thoughts about them? If you do, leave a comment. If you don't, leave a comment. Just leave a comment that says comment. And, you know, that will help with the algorithm. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, many thanks for watching. And uh, I will catch you later. Cheers. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit unwell. <laughs>